look I don't want to waste no time so let's go straight into it so this loop right here is one of my favorite loops of all times like one of the best uh, so today I'm gonna show you the loop the process what I was thinking during uh, making the loop and just the story um, this loop is actually in the Uncle Drip loop kit if you haven't caught that you're sleeping so this was the third week of being in LA this was like in March March 20 something 20th whatever uh, I was just chilling in the crib just cooking up a loop and then I made this Bruh, I know it sounds so like grand. Like it sounds like it's in a movie. It sounds like I don't know how to explain it, but the feeling that just every time I listen to this is like not normal. It's out of the usual. So I started with this um chord progression. This is from Serum. At the time, I was using a lot of one shots. So I was like, let me just use a VST. And I was like, Serum. I never, I rarely use uh Serum well i never use serum so i was like fuck it let me try this so i started off with this chord and as you can hear is like a side chain find it yeah so i got a kickstart side chain i render it out and then i reverse the high end i had two i had the low end and uh, the high end uh so i, I reversed the high end so it sounds like it sounds spooky if that 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 makes sense um so during this time i was i was definitely experimenting is is it's not bad to experiment always try new things that's what i was doing um i've been preaching this like so much but just click buttons i'm telling you that's the best way to make loops you you always like being shocked of what you make by just clicking button yeah so i rendered those out got that low end got that high end and the next one is the bass this is from uh coop the troop one shot as you can see i didn't do nothing with it i didn't i didn't i didn't mix it because it's already a uh, process there's nothing wrong with, with using a one shot because it's already processed so you don't have to do that much all i did was add the note i want and i just uh you know cut out the envelope use the envelope all that stuff and then this one, this is a accent. This also from Coop the Troop, one shot. Uh, just sound like that. But yeah. And then for the vocals, so my vocal chains differ from each loop or sample. This is in my uh, Uncle Drip preset kit. Um, so you got the little Alter Boy. Uh, OTT is compressor, just compress, make sure it's leveled, Valhalla verb just a v verb fuck with this one and volcano this is more like a filter you can mess with it uh play with it however you want it so i did all that i rendered it out again i cons i cut consolidate it uh mess with the sample rate if you don't know what the sample rate is or what it does uh i i encourage you guys to use the sample rate you just like you know type in a number uh I usually do like 2,500 to 5,000. Yeah, so I mess with the sample rate, render it out, and then you get this one. So it sounds a little muffled. It sounds, you know, like it can fit in to, it sounds like, it sounds good. It sounds like if it, it was meant to fit in with the, the sample. Like, so there's no uh, frequency clash and all that nerdy shit. All right, so you have the first part, right? It sounds like so this is the loop I was I was with this is what I was making I, I didn't know I didn't know what I was doing and like what I was going with it I was just making a loop I was just making it I was like yo it sounds good but I feel like there should be a, a second part um so you, you see the violin trail this was um I was just going through on the Nami pack and I, I saw this one this was later on after I did all that, but I wanted something, you know, that could like more like a riser, but like not a riser at the same time. So I found this. 
and as you can see i have the volume uh animation going up just to you know sound just to give it that suspense that's what's pretty much it so when it and then so now for this so I'm start with the bass i'm using a this is a different bass this is from analog lab this is the this is from the loophole um, it's called party next week <clears throat> i tweaked it all that good stuff the next one this is a coupe one shot this is the chords this is the main star this is the star of the show it's like yo this shit sounds sound good because i just copied the chords from this and then paste it here but i stressed it out just to sound longer and it sounds crazy crazy um and you can see i didn't i didn't process it because it's already processed um uh, next one is I have so many things going on like I have this lead this one is my process kept it just to give it more texture more feeling and I got this one as you see it's not process and this one This one was definitely processed. Like I liked how this sound, but if I take it out, this is how it was sounding. And I add a guitar rig and a volcano. These presets are in my Uncle Drip loop kit. Um, so yeah, it sounds like that. It sounds watery. It sounds like you're under uh, the ocean. And that's how That's how I wanted it to uh, sound like. But yeah, um, and of course, can't forget about the vocals. The star, the star, main star of the show right here. So what I did to this one was I reversed it and I uh, made the range 12. So this is how it was sounded before. very long uh, this is my vocals all of this is all my vocals so I, I pitched it up um, reversed it pitched it up and while that that pitched up make sure it's on auto so I had it on auto so it can um, hitch it and stretch it at the same time so that's where you get that and I was just experimenting I wasn't uh, I didn't know that it could do that at the time. At the time, I was, I was like, oh, let me try this. And I tried it. And luckily, it works. So now I know, you know, I, I, I can do this more. But it, it's, you you, you, you got to know when, when to do it and when not to. So, yeah, this is pretty much it. This is pretty much the loop. The rest is just arranging it. Um, as you can see, like, some parts, I took some out and then put it back in, you know, get more space. And then... That was pretty much it. This is this is pretty much the loop. Uh, actually, I capped. The last thing I did was uh, sound shifter. I used this a lot. I I pushed it up three cent semitone. So if it that's how it was. This is how it was originally sounding. But then I added this. It's like I like this range. This loop took me about like two hours. <laughs> yeah, I spent a long time on my loop, but so so i was getting tired of hearing this this pitch so um i changed the the pitch of it just to give me just to get like a new idea or uh yeah a new idea a refresh fresh mind i also have a blood overdrive just to give it more a little more saturation uh took out the highs for some reason i don't know why i did anyways that is the loop this is the loop um so the lesson of today is experimenting um I, I i know i've been saying this a lot but it's always good to experiment try new things because you never know what 
what comes out of it. You might make some crazy ass loop. You might make some shitty, but it's all about experimenting and keep on the reputation, keep on going, keep on doing it, keep on doing it. And you get better and better and better and better. That's pretty much it. It's your boy, sexy, handsome, symbol. Hope you guys learned something. I'm out. <laughs>